if you were a kid from the late 90s to the early 2000s, chances are your Friday nights were reserved for Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. Cartoon Cartoon Fridays was a Friday night cartoon block that stemmed from What a Cartoon, a program that showcased many short animation pilots that would eventually become some of the best original shows that Cartoon Network has ever produced. Shows like Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, and Courage the Cowardly Dog all originated from What a Cartoon. By 1999, Cartoon Cartoon Fridays would be the main stage for new episodes of popular programs to premiere and brand new shows to debut. And now, you might be asking, Brantendo, what does any of this have to do with this Envelopes Please game? Well, calm the hell down folks, we're getting there. What made Cartoon Cartoon Fridays particularly significant for me growing up was seeing all of my favorite cartoon characters interact with one another. I'm not sure why, but something about cartoon characters from different cartoons acknowledging each other was extremely satisfying for me growing up. Even looking back today, there's still something special to me about Double D announcing the world premiere of Sheep in the Big City. Okay, now let's venture through 2002's CartoonNetwork.com to kick off this discussion about this Envelopes Please game. If you grew up surfing the web in the early 2000s like I did, this might bring back some memories. On the surface, Envelopes Please seems like nothing more than a short, shockwave-based game with oversimplified mechanics, terrible graphics, and a weird, repetitive soundtrack. And under the wrong scope, that's precisely what it is. Especially when compared to games that already existed at the time, like Super Mario Sunshine and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Envelopes Please was subpar at best, and yet, there was something about the game that had me set down my GameCube controller and instead grabbing a mouse and keyboard in search of these missing envelopes. The game starts out with an intro sequence, if you could even call it that, it's actually more of a slideshow, of Johnny Bravo informing IR Baboon from the I Am Weasel show that the envelopes containing the results for an upcoming Cartoon Network award ceremony are lost. You, as IR Baboon, are now tasked with the responsibility of retrieving these envelopes. From here, you search various areas backstage of the award ceremony for these missing envelopes, and you're required to interact with cartoon characters from different cartoons in order to retrieve them. Throughout your journey, you'll interact with characters from various cartoons, such as Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog, Dexter, Scooby-Doo, Fred Flintstone, I mean, we're talking fan favorites here, folks. Mojo Jojo, Shaggy, Igu... Wait, Igu? Who the fuck is Igu? Hold on, let me look this up. Oh... Uh, y yeah, yeah, y of course, Igu. Um, Igu's the giant ape rock monster, uh, and one of the main protagonists of the Herculoids. Yeah. Aside from the interactions with cartoon characters, the game also has a bunch of references to characters that aren't physically present in the game, such as this allusion to Dexter's mom when looking through the janitor's closet, and uh, these pictures of Dee Dee and Dexter hanging on the walls of these dressing rooms. The Envelopes Please is a game that can easily be completed in under five minutes, yet I would spend more than an hour playing it every single time, just roaming around the backstage areas, exploring character dialogue, and looking for easter eggs and references to other cartoon series. Playing the game on a Saturday morning felt like I was casually hanging out with all the characters I had just watched the Friday night prior on Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. It helped me develop this connection between characters that I feel is largely missing among cartoons of today. And finally, who could forget this wholesome ending? IR Baboon, mid-celebration, being awarded for saving the night. I know, at a glance it may seem anticlimactic, but think about it. This unlikely hero, who exists merely as this bizarro type character, forever overshadowed by his clean-cut baby-faced counterpart I Am Weasel, was never destined to win any awards, but here he is. Defying all the odds, jumping for joy, finally getting the recognition he deserves. Okay, alright, I know, I might be giving an over-sensationalized recollection of the game at this point. But that's what nostalgia does to us, right? Once again, thanks for tuning back into Channel 3. I'm Brantendo64, and if you want to see more retrospective videos about old, shitty, shockwave-based games like Envelopes, please, let me know in the comments, drop a like, and subscribe. Until next time, let's blow this cartridge. Hey, you very good!